What's up everybody? Welcome to Collector's Core. It's time for the Marvel Legends Collection 2017. Here we go! Oh. Alright, up first I'm going to start off with my Guardians of the Galaxy slash uh, Thor setup. We've got uh, Black Bolt here. Uh, STC exclusive from a few years back. This is actually the Marvel Select Drax, but he is probably the best looking comic book version of Drax, in my opinion. Uh, Star Lord, looking good. Captain Universe, Adam Warlock, Kid Nova, my personal favorite Marvel Legend of 2017, Angela. Like, it's just a beautiful looking figure. Lady Thor. With some uh, Tamashi effects, so you can see that there. A little lightning in the back here. We got Malekith from the uh, uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive 2017 uh, Thor box set. It's a pretty cool character. There's the movie version Hella, which I like to use as a stand in for my comic book collection. Gave her the Marvel Select Gamora sword. We've got Ares in the back there. Boar, which is a uh, Odin's grandfather. Pretty cool figure, man. Uh, probably my favorite figure out of that um, San Diego exclusive. Odin, Ulick, uh, Young Thor, Lady Sith, Vance Astro, comic book version Gamora, Nova, Gladiator, in the back there we got Death's Head 2, Medusa, a Dark Hawk action, Ballastar, Titus was actually kind of a cool build a figure, Ex Nilo, and my personal favorite uh, Groot and Rocket Raccoon. Both are Marvel Select, but in my opinion, the best versions of both of these characters. This Rocket Raccoon is just awesome. I really dig them, man. Sweet. Then we're going to move on to my main display here, which is mostly X-Men and the Avengers. Got uh, the Daredevil. And we've got Punisher back there. I swapped out uh, the head of the Netflix Punisher, used his body, put the long coat on him. I just like this version the best. I think it just looks the best in my opinion. So, you know, my collection, do what I want. <laughs> Iron Fist. I've got a little dark, well not dark, sorry, regular Phoenix, but with some Tamashi fire effects. Always makes it look pretty awesome. I got uh, Spider-Man leading the pack out in front. Stupid ass hit monkey. I got uh, Deadpool there. And then we Winter Soldier. The Marvel now. Whoa. Oh God! <laughs> hey, man, this is kind of the uh, Avengers setup. Ms. Marvel, Black Panther, Giant Man, Agent Venom, Hawkeye. Got uh, I forget Mark forty six or forty seven. One of those fucking marks on a flight stand. Iron Man, Wonder Man. Vision, fucking uh, the Hulk. Uh, it's actually Toy Biz. Um, Toy Biz Doctor Strange. I use the new cape from uh, the current Doctor Strange. I think it looks awesome. Nick Fury, Quicksilver, and uh, Miss Scarlet Witch, Wasp, Marvel now, Thor with. Again, some Tamashi effects for effects. <laughs> and the X-Men, I got the Jubilee Build-A-Figure. Cable going on. I can't wait for that new cable to come out, the comic book version. Uh, Kitty Prime, Rogue. The uh, new Wolverine. Can't wait to get Tiger Stripe version of that. And in the back there, that's the old Toy Biz Psylocke with the silk head. Jim Lee Cyclops. That that's just so 90s awesome right there. Oh, Havoc. Puck. 
pretty cool bit uh that's a cool figure but way overpriced for what it is a toy biz marvel legend that still stands up hawk uh hawkeye nightcrawler uh, another painted effect with uh, that crappy ice man the new colossus which i really dig the aesthetic of the colossus the size i just wish he had a better costume and we've got pyro with some tamashi effects again sunfire yeah mystique best comic book version of Sabretooth but we're getting a new one here soon this is the Marvel Select Sabretooth people keep saying we need a new beast but I still think this beast is pretty awesome I'm sure that when we do get a new one it'll be great too Shatterstar little Bishop Warpath and I like to use the Marvel Select uh, Magneto because I think he looks the best Magneto so far but again we're getting a new one soon so Fingers crossed. This is the Blob build a figure, which is not a bad Hasbro uh, build a figure by any means. Onslaught. Freaking love that guy. Also got this old school avalanche here in the back. Got Polaris. And here's the build a figure juggernaut. My personal favorite build a figure from 2016. And right behind him, the Jubilee build a figure storm with some Tamashi effects. Again, Tamashi effects people, that's great for display options. And in the back, Dark Phoenix. Use the Toy Biz effect in the back. Again, Tamashi Fire right there. Fantastic Dark Phoenix figure. I like the fact it came with the several head sculpts for the uh, Phoenix from last year and all that good stuff. And one of my favorite Marvel Legends, Archangel. Also one of my favorite X-Men characters. Um, I wouldn't mind an updated version of this, but this will do for now. Alright, then moving on, I just kind of got some uh, random figures here. It's the new uh, Invisible Woman, Kate Bishop, uh, Silk, Ghost Rider. Can't wait to get that Ghost Rider with the new bike and uh, new paint job, but I still really dig this figure. Probably one of my favorite Marvel Legends of recent years. Then we got uh, Tony Stark, a whole bunch of Iron Mans. Marvel Select Hulkbuster Iron Man and in the back there the Build-A-Figure Vulture which is actually a really cool figure. This is the uh, Thanos Build-A-Figure from a couple years back and here's uh, another setup I've got just more like some random figures I put out. Let's check them out. J. Jonah Jameson. I got a couple of these chameleon bodies that you know you like to use for the plain clothes guys. Spider-Man from the uh, Mary Jane 2-pack. Mary Jane. The only thing I don't like about Marvel Legends women figures, they're great looking, but they all have that look on their face. Look at that. It's like Stepford Wives. What the? That's a Marvel Select Venom. Probably one of the best Venom figures in my opinion. The Build-A-Figure Sandman. Walgreens exclusive Namor. And an old Deadpool figure, Tombstone, a couple of Ultron figures, Netflix, uh, Electra. this freaking bullseye, which is cool, I got him squaring off here against the Netflix Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and again I did some jacket swapping for uh, the Marvel Knights Punisher. Moon Knight and Demolition Man or Scourge Crossbones with his big old cannon there. Uh, Moon, what is her name? Bloodstone? Something like that? Ah, fuck it. And uh, Red Skull in the back. And then Blade and the Cat. I uh, swapped off another Punisher coat for Blade because I think he looks way better with the coat on. And then to round up my collection here, it's my Spider-Man section. So let's have a look. Marvel Select base right there, and this is the um, Fearsome Foes Green Goblin. Just my personal favorite Green Goblin. I've got the new one, but I like this one the best. It's the uh, new Electro there. there we go. Blood 
Black Suit Spider-Man. Got Rhino. This new Vulture, which I really dig. He's not getting as much love as I think he should. We got Scarlet Spider. Uh, little Spider-Man. Jack-o'-lantern. I've got one. Freaking Carnage. I love that figure. Uh, whatever that new spot. A couple of Spider-Mans I can don't care that much about. Got Venom in the back there. Spider Carnage, $20.99. Got uh, Shocker. I still love this Scorpion figure. It'd be cool to get a new one, but I don't know if they could really top this one. I really dig it. Got Morbius. And Doc Ock. Could get a, there's supposed to be a new Doc Ock coming soon, but this one still holds up, I think, in my opinion. So, yeah. Alright, and so there you have it, guys. That was my collection. Uh, what did you think? Um, I still got a lot more stuff in storage. I just don't have room for everything, but this is like all my favorite pieces that I keep on display. So, you let me know what you thought. Leave me some comments down below. Like, share this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't take yourself too seriously.